Okay, welcome to another episode of Cool Dude Clem's Electronic Workshop. Today I'm going to be working on my computer's power supply. Welcome to Cool Dude Clem's Electronic Workshop with me, your host, Cool Dude Clem. I think this is what's wrong with my computer because I'll just be using it and all of a sudden it will reset itself for no apparent reason. It's completely random and I think this is the problem, this power supply. It's probably cheap, chinky crap. You can see some dust on there thing that's not good I'll just brush that off and we'll take a look inside right that's that bit unscrewed let's see if we can take a look inside and here we are inside the power supply first thing I'm gonna look for is any bulging capacitors if there are any they will need to be replaced Okay, they look all right. No signs of any bad stuff going on. Actually, despite all the dust that's on there, it's actually quite clean inside. Well, I don't see any signs of anything messed up. Everything looks all right. No signs of anything burnt or no bulging capacitors. Can't see any breaks in the circuit board. We'll just take this, unscrew the circuit board from the bottom here, and make sure the underside is okay. Well, I really don't see what the problem is. Everything looks absolutely fine. There's no signs of any bad solder joints or any cracks in the circuit board, as far as I can see. So, I really don't know what's going on. Anyway, this does need a bit of a dusting, so I'm going to just brush all this dust off the circuit board. Make sure that is nice and clean. Just look at that difference. Anyway, I guess I'd better put this back together now and put it back in my computer and I hope it still works. And here it is, put back together. Now I've got the tricky bit of putting it back in my computer. Well, there it is, back in the computer. Had a bit of a job getting it in there. I got it in and none of the screws were lining up and then I realised I was putting it in upside down. Anyway, that's back in now. Now I've got to get to work and get this all connected up. First of all, I'm going to collect up the main power. To these two connectors here and they go into this big white thing. So this smaller one goes down here. Just slots into place. And now the other one. I did actually notice when I was taking these out that some of these connections were quite loose. So maybe that's the problem. Got to get this facing round the right way. Of course, I'm um, hands in the way at the moment, but I can't see. Ah, oh, there it goes, and it's come right out again. Well, I know that's the way it goes in because it won't go in any other way. Okay, this one is for the CPU. all the gadgets and doodads the computer has. Um, do the 
CD drive or DVD drive, which I have not secured in there properly. It's all sliding about. I can't really see that. I should really screw that in properly, but as long as it stays where it's supposed to be, that's all right. Now, this one is the hard drive connector. In this case, a SATA hard drive. Hope I'm showing it in the camera. There's the hard drive. Oh, it goes over this side, doesn't it? Maybe I'm trying to put it in upside down. It's very difficult to work. You just got to get your hands at such a weird angle to get some of these in. There it goes, it's in. I much prefer the cases where these things are turned on their side so you can get to the connections more easy, but this isn't one of those computers. Now, here's the floppy power, which I don't even use, but might as well plug that in. Okay, I'm not going to bother putting the floppy back in. Now, I could just get this one here, this green connector, to stay in. I think that's what was causing the problems, you know? Alright, let's power this thing up and see if it turns on. Well, I've plugged it into the socket and turned it on and I've got a little green light showing on, on the motherboard, so that's good. Now, let's see if the computer turns on. Turn on. Okay, it's booting up. Well, it's on. Actually sounds a bit different. Okay, that looks good. Here comes Windows. So, there we are. Guess it wasn't all for nothing. That power supply did need to be cleaned out. And the computer's on, and now I'm going to use this computer to edit this video and put it up onto YouTube. That is when I find out what I'm going to do next on Cool Dude Clem's Electronic Workshop. Next time on Cool Dude Clem's Electronic Workshop, a very special episode, Clem will be taking two reel, two reel tape recorders apart and making a good one from all the parts of the two machines. That's next time on Cool Dude Clem's Electronic Workshop. <laughs>